Good morning, new techers. Uh, this is Mr. Granlund. I'm going to take you through uh, this assignment where you combine the anatomy of typography and grid anatomy into one document. So as a graphic designer, you're going to be combining. You have to combine information all the time and make it clear and understandable. So we're going to take two key graphic design um, information sets and combine them. So this anatomy of typography and this grid anatomy as well. And it's going to go into one page. And I'm going to show you one way that you can do it. We're going to start off in Photoshop. Go to File, New. We're going to make a US paper, 8.5 by 11, 300, color mode RGB. We'll call this Grid and Type. Now that I have my piece of paper here, I'm going to go get the information that I'm going to paste in there. It's going to be a lot easier. if we copy these pieces of inf information into our Photoshop document. So I'm going to right click, copy, and paste, and do that again with this piece of information. Right click, copy, and paste. Now both of these informations have to be um, prevalent and I'm going to show you a way that you can do this. Now you can stretch this out and, and copy it, but you're going to draw it yourself inside of the document. So I'm going to start with the grid design here. I'm going to use my marquee, rectangular marquee tool to do my drawing for the grid. Now there's lots of ways that you can do this, um, so feel free to try other methods as well. I'm going to start with making a big rectangle, and then I'm going to go to Edit and Stroke, and maybe I'll make my outline color, my grid color, blue. Kind of a nice pale blue. About five pixels should be good. And it stroked it. So if I turn this off, you'll see a thin blue line that goes all the way around. Now, also part of making good grid work is actually doing the math yourself. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. with a few easy clicks here. So I'm going to go up to File, or uh, Edit, I'm rather, Preferences, Guides, Grids, and Slices. And I go over to the grids here, and I do grid line every percent. I'll do 25%. And subdivisions, so if we want those divisions to separate it even further, um, I'm going to say no. We're just going to do it just one subdivision. And when I go to view and show, here is my overall grid. Now this grid is, um, it divides up the page into equal boxes. This works uh, very well. And the only thing is, is I need to have gutters at each of these um, intersections. And then, then I'm going to take this entire grid and kind of shrink it down to fit inside the margin. Now you can do grids of any kind of percentage, but I'd recommend you do percentage over a specific measurement because you're, you want those measurements to line up exactly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to create this. I can even do multiple grids. So I can do, if I hold the shift button and draw out another marquee tool, I can do a second one as well. 
And when I go to stroke this, edit, stroke, I'm going to actually put the location of the stroke inside um, on the edge. Otherwise, at the top, it's not going to show any of that stroke. And I'm going to make this quite a bit thicker so it actually makes my gutter as well. So maybe let's try 30 pixels. Okay, now that's not a very large gutter at all. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to try it again. Edit, stroke. Let's try 50 pixels. Now we can do a little bit of math here. So let's say we wanted quarter inch pixels and we're using a resolution that's 300 pixels per inch. So if we take 300 and we divide it by 4, get our little calculator out here. So 300 divided by 4. we get exactly 75. So if I wanted exactly quarter inch gutters, which is a pretty good size, I'm going to go I'm going to make it 75 pixels. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and create grids for all of this. Now as I'm looking at this here, oh, we're kind of, we're a little bit messed up. So like this box is smaller than this box. So I'm going to have to make some decisions here. Um, I can use this information to help me better my grid. So if I go to view, show, or actually rulers, I can actually take these grid lines here. I'm going to take these rulers and stretch them to every edge of the project here because they line up with these these lines here except for the outside edge which I'm going to just make that one there. Edit stroke inside And now I'm actually going to erase everything. So now I have actually some grid lines. And I'm going to also turn on some snapping here. View, snap. So now that my lines will snap to the edges here. And the reason that's going to help me is because I'm going to, when I stroke, I'm going to have it go on the center so that the gutters get evenly placed on the center of each of these lines. It just makes my life a little bit easier time to time. And if this is taking a long time for you, um, that's that's okay. This is part of the learning process and it's important um, when you're learning to do graphic design to, to yeah, take your time and do a really good job. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the grid work for the rest of this using the same method and uh, I'll show you what to do next when I'm done.